What's going on YouTube? So as I'm sure you've probably noticed over the last few years, trucks have no longer been focused on just utility and specs, but now also on extreme luxury. Sierra Denali was one of the first trucks in the luxury game, but now it's stepping up once again with the introduction of this new refreshed Sierra Denali. This updated model is hoping to bring luxury to a level never seen before in a GM truck and adds to the totally new interior, exterior, and tech upgrades that the entire lineup of Sierras is receiving this year with the refresh. So is this the new standard of luxury in pickup trucks? Let's go ahead and find out. Now, if you've been following the developments in the Sierra lineup, you'll know that the interior is a big, big upgrade for 2022, but there are actually a lot of upgrades to the exterior as well. So let's start with that. Take a look at this grill. As you can see, we do have a new design for this refreshed model. Basically, it's kind of softened a little bit. It's not quite so square. It tapers in, looks a little bit more sophisticated. Of course, with this Denali model, we do have that signature Denali chrome mesh that runs through, but the openings are a little bit wider than they were before. And then the big news, that new Denali ultimate trim level, that's gonna add some different styling elements. So it's gonna change this to what they call, call Vader chrome. It's gonna be a dark chrome. And it's also gonna black out the badging as well. Now, as we come over here to the headlights, these are also new for this refreshed model. As you can see, full LED with the projector bulbs. We have the daytime running light and a turn signal bracketing around. And these also have animations when you enter and exit the truck. And then down below, you'll also find LED fog lamps. Now, what luxury truck would be complete without some luxurious wheels? Of course, just like with the, the previous model, you do have a ton of different choices that you can pick between. Standard on the Denali is going to be a 20 inch alloy wheel. We have the Denali reserve package so that's going to throw in these 22 inch alloy wheels. As you can see, pretty cool look to them. You got the gray painted uh, bits, but you also have the chrome inserts, which kind of add a little bit more uh, bling to this finish. Additionally, of course, that new Denali Ultimate, that's going to continue that dark theme and you'll have a nice looking blacked out alloy. So that model stands out from the other Denali's. Of course, you got your 6.2 liter V8 branding. We've got the chrome finish up here on the mirrors. They're gonna be fully loaded with all the features as you'd expect for a top model. So you've got power folding, heating, auto dimming, and blind spot monitoring. Now here at the side, let's talk about the cab and bed configurations for the GMC Sierra. Now, of course, in typical pickup truck fashion for the higher end models, you are gonna be locked into crew cab configuration only. So that is true for the Denali and the Denali Ultimate. And what you see right here is the crew cab with the five and a half foot short bed. You can actually get the longer six and a half foot bed on the regular Denali. However, the Denali Ultimate is locked into this configuration right here. Now, let's go ahead and walk around to the rear design for the Sierra and see what's been updated for this refresh model. Now, back here in the rear area, you're not gonna see as many differences as you do in the front. It's more of an evolutionary design change. So, you know, you probably won't notice too much different. Now, here in the center, we do have the red GMC branding. If you go for the Ultimate model, it will be kind of darked out. Then we have Denali branding. And then let's look at our taillights. These taillights are an area that they have changed a little bit. They have a slightly revised design. However, they are still gonna be full LED, including the brake light, turn signal, and reverse light, which is a really premium element. Then if we drop down to the lower area, you will notice that we do have the body, body color finishings for the Denali model, as well as the dual integrated exhaust outlets. I love the fact that the Sierra has the dual integrated exhaust. A lot of pickup trucks don't have the integrated exhaust, and I love the design of that. Also, in regards to towing, you're probably curious about that. We have a 13,000 pound maximum for the 6.2 liter four wheel drive, which I imagine is the most popular configuration for the Sierra. 
Now this is a pickup truck after all, so let's go ahead and talk about the bed. Now I'm sure you're probably familiar with the GMC Multi-Pro tailgate that of course came out with this all new GMC Sierra and it's one of the coolest features still on this truck. Now there are six different modes that you can put it in um, and it is going to be Sierra on the Denali models. So if you push that button, that will just lower the tailgate. If you push the other button, that will lower this area and then you can further do that to make entry very easy into the tailgate area. Now, that is not the only way to get into the tailgate area. There's actually two other ways. So you have this step right here that you can get in. That makes it, of course, very easy. You don't even have to lower anything to get into the bed quite easy. And then you have this handle to help getting in. If you go for the ultimate model, it will be uh, body color further on to give it a more premium look. And then we're also not done. If you need side access to the bed, You'll notice that you have the power running boards, but if you push this little side button here, that will make your running board shoot back and give you really easy side entry into the bed. So this is really, I would have to admit, this is probably some of the coolest stuff that you can get in any pickup truck in regards to the bed. So if you're going to be using that a lot, I would highly, highly recommend going for that. Now it is worth noting, you do have to have the power running boards for that feature. Now let's walk our way around to the bed itself. So, of course, you can get in. You also have this little handle here that you can fold out to make getting in even easier. And then as far as the bed itself back here, let's talk about a few of the features. You can actually get a car carbon composite standard on the Denali Ultimate or optional on the regular Denali to make this uh, bed area even stronger if you're going to be using it for heavy hauling and stuff like that. This is just the standard version. And then as far as other features you're going to have, we have a household style outlet here to power any type of electronics that you're going to need. We have some LED lighting in the sides. You can also get a speaker system back here. So honestly, I can't really see where you complain much at all about the bed of the Sierra because it's pretty darn advanced. Now GMC has updated their safety systems for this refresh model. So I'm very happy to see that by including three out of four of the systems standard on all of the models. So that's going to include forward emergency braking, lane keeping assist, and your auto high beams. So those previously were optional features on the Sierra. So that's a nice new standard feature. Now you will have to go for the, at least the technology package on the Denali to add adaptive cruise control. And if you go for that fully loaded Denali ultimate model, you will have standard super cruise or optional on the regular Denali, which of course, that's the first time that that system has been available on the Sierra. And we've actually tested that, that out pretty extensively and it is a really cool system. So if you do a lot of highway driving, we would highly recommend that. Now, as far as the warranty information is concerned, you're gonna have GMC's signature warranty, three year, 36,000 mile basic warranty, five year, 60,000 mile powertrain warranty if you go for a gas powered model. If you go for the diesel, that extends that powertrain uh, mileage limit up to 100,000 miles. Well guys, that's gonna be all we need to talk about on the outside of this refresh model, but arguably the bigger changes are on the inside. So let's go ahead and check that out. Now walking up to this new Sierra, of course you are going to find a standard smart entry system on this upper end trim level as well as remote start and we've got the brand's newest key fob. And to get inside there's not a sensor behind the handle so just press the button to unlock. Give you guys a good look inside of this brand new and completely redesigned cabin. And let's go ahead and hop inside. Since we do have the Denali Reserve package on this model, that comes with the power deploying running boards. And I do want you to pay attention once I get inside and shut the door, just how quiet these are. It's a big, big improvement over what it was previously. Now that's one heck of an animation if you ask me. Absolutely beautiful. Now with this new Sierra, it's very important that I mention there are three different interiors, totally different interiors spread through the trim levels, which is pretty highly unusual. Now if you choose the base pro model, that's going to get the old style interior. But if you choose the SLE through the SLT, that has a brand new interior, but it's the same design that's shared with the Silverado. 
However, if you go for the AT4 all the way through the Denali Ultimate, that's gonna get you this interior design, which has a totally different placement of the vents and display, different materials used throughout, of course. Um, so like I said, pretty unusual to have three totally different interiors for the trim levels, but it definitely gets nicer as you move up. Now, speaking of materials and colors, let's go ahead and start talking about that. So we have the Denali today. That's going to come with real leather seating, and you have the choice between the black we have today or also a dark brown. And of course, you'll see real aluminum and walnut trim throughout the cabin. I'll talk about that in just a second. Now, if you're wondering about the Denali Ultimate, that is going to be even nicer than this one still. That's gonna come with full grain leather and an alpine umber color choice. And that's gonna have a darkened aluminum trim throughout, as well as open pour paleto wood. Uh, with those special Denali engravings. Uh, if you guys watched our Chicago Auto Show video, you did see uh, some of those special touches that are in the Denali Ultimate. But of course, this one here is absolutely stunning. Now, in terms of the seats themselves, like I was mentioning, they are real leather. They're very nicely finished. We have the Denali branding up here in the top of the seat. Nice stitching and perforation all throughout, and it feels nice and high quality. The driver's seat is going to be 10-way power adjusting on pretty much all the trim levels except for the Denali Ultimate. That now has a 16-way power adjusting seat with massaging abilities, which is a first for the Sierra lineup. Let's go ahead and look around at the general cabin materials inside of here because let me tell you guys, it is a big improvement over the previous generation. It's certainly one of the nicest trucks that money can buy. So over here at the door trim, you'll notice pretty much the entire thing is gonna be covered with leather on this Denali model. All this area is leather with a stitching detail. We've got the armrest with the nice wide grain leather and cross stitching through there. We also have a very large and really nice full metal speaker grill. You know, I love that. Got your Denali branding, more leather all through here. Open pour wood trim. Even our door handle has been upgraded to genuine aluminum. And of course we do have two person memory seating on board. As far as the windows, one touch auto down for all four, auto up for the driver and the passenger. And then moving on to our general dashboard here, full leather dashboard goes all the way across the top through there. We do have stitching details as well as a color contrast piping, looks very nice. All through the middle, we have a genuine textured aluminum. And then down here in the center portion, we have a very large thick piece of this real wood trim. I love the way this looks, it's very interesting. You can probably tell on camera here, that it's actually kind of darkened or burned here on this side and then lightens up as it passes along through there. So it's a really cool effect. Down below, more leather, more stitching, more aluminum. As you can see, the trend is definitely a lot of genuine and very nice materials, even down here on the console. And of course, everything does fit together very nicely and feels very solid. Now to start up this new Sierra, we do have a brand new large square push button start located right there. Now, in addition to the increase in luxury, there's also been quite an increase in terms of the technology on board. You're looking at one of those aspects right now. That is the brand new 12.3 inch full digital gauge cluster. This is very similar to what we showed you guys in the um, updated Yukon a few weeks ago. And as you can see, really beautiful graphics. Of course, that animation coming in at the beginning was absolutely lovely. We do have the full suite of information that you'd expect to see on board. We also have the ability to change between several different design themes as well for this gauge cluster. And there's small revisions to the design when you switch between the drive modes as well. Now, in addition to that, our Denali also comes with this large 15 inch head up display. So as you can see, a lot of information on board. We can reach over here to our button and change to a lot of different kinds of information as well off to the side of the steering wheel. And speaking of the steering wheel, this is what it looks like. As you can see, beautiful leather wrap steering wheel, Denali branding, genuine aluminum trim down there through the middle. We do have steering wheel heating on board with the Denali, of course. And here's a new feature for 2022. The upper and trim levels now come with a power adjusting steering wheel. Previously, it was always manual adjusting, although we do not have a power adjusting pedal still. Now checking out over here in this area, this is pretty similar to what it was before. 
Uh, like I said, you'll notice your head-up display settings up there. You have your headlight and your four-wheel drive controls as well as your electronic parking brake. But this is a truck after all, even though it's a very nice truck, it still needs to have lots of utility for any type of purpose. So let's check that out. So opening up our center console, first and foremost, we have this tray, good place to stick things, but if you want to get even deeper, put that out of the way there and you'll see a ton of space. This goes down probably at least a foot and a half deep. We've got a rubber lining down here at the bottom as well. This is also where we will find two of our USB ports. One of them is a type C and we also have a full household outlet inside. Here's my coupons. You don't have to do it even though you can tell how this is going to go. Absolutely swallows them up. I could fit at least I don't know, 500 or 1,000 coupons in there if I needed to. And we also have the wireless phone charging pad standard on the Denali, which you can just slide down through there. Now, like I was mentioning earlier, some of the elements in here are a little different depending on which trim level you have. With this model, we do have our cup holders right here. We've got a little slit right there. We've got a couple more USB ports. We have a large storage area up there in the front. And then we do have some additional storage along the sides. And of course you have a ton of storage in the door trims as well. And turning over here to our shifter. This of course is also new. Gone is the column shifter. We now have this uh, nice feeling electronic shifter. It has a big kind of meaty feel to it. Pull back for drive of course. We also have new paddle shifters on the steering wheel. These are located on this top section above the audio controls which are still on the back. and then push up to go into reverse. And when you head into reverse with the Denali trim level, you will be greeted by this 360 degree surround vision camera system. As you can see, very nice high resolution camera system with our default view as well as our overhead view. However, we do have a ton of additional options that we can pick between. So that allows you to kind of line up a trailer, check the front. You can see both uh, side views there's your trailer hitch zoomed in. So you have a ton of different choices on board and we even have the uh, signature bed camera, which is a pretty cool thing. If you're keeping track of cargo, make sure nothing's shifting around. And then for park, you're just gonna press that P right there on the top. Like I mentioned before, you do have that electronic parking brake. And then off to behind that is going to be your trailer brake controller. We do still have a row of buttons here. Um, just for various different functions. And then we have a brand new climate setup. It is going to be a dual zone automatic setup like before, but we have brand new buttons on board. Very nice and high quality. Um, feels really good in the hands. All the other buttons are finished in a nice piano black trim, which looks like really sleek. And then of course we do have standard three stage heated seats with separate button back controls, as well as three stage ventilation when we choose at least the Denali trim level. All right, and let's go ahead, and before we talk about the new display, let's go ahead and sample the audio system. So the Denali trim level comes standard with a Bose seven speaker sound system. Um, it does have a subwoofer, and as you could saw earlier, it does have those metal speaker grills. If you went for the ultimate though, you would get the um, premium series Bose system. That has 12 speakers and a little bit better sound quality, but let's go ahead and sample this standard version. So overall sound quality is excellent as you would expect for a premium truck such as this. All right, so let's talk about the second major technology upgrade of this cabin and that is this brand new infotainment system. So first and foremost, we have the size. The size is 13.4 inches. That replaces the previous eight inch display on the last model year and of course, it is also very high resolution. So they've done big upgrades in terms of that as well. Now, the other major thing is the fact that this actually has a totally different uh, infotainment system OS on board. This is running what is known as Android Automotive OS. So basically this is backed by the Android 
experience. Um, so it's kind of baked in some of the things that you would get from an Android phone or tablet. For example, you're probably noticing that we have built-in Google Maps that replaces the standard General Motors map system. Uh, resolution on this is absolutely stunning. Performance is great, as you can see. It takes up the whole display with the map. And like I said, with that built-in Google um, Smart, you can have things like live traffic and stuff that are built right into the system. You also have the built-in Google Assistant as well. And don't fret if you don't um, have an Android phone or anything. You still have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay both built in, so you can use this if you prefer to use this. As you can see, I have the Android phone, or you can still use Apple CarPlay if you prefer to use that kind of system. Uh, both of those are gonna run wirelessly. Now coming up from that, we do have GM Signature Rear Vision Camera Mirror. This is in the Denali Reserve package or technology package for this model, standard on the Ultimate, of course. And we do also have our Homelink remote up there at the top. Now obviously it is raining, so I'm not gonna open up the sunroof, but I will slide back the shade there. That's what that's gonna look like. You still cannot get a panoramic sunroof, unfortunately. It is just gonna be the standard size unit. It's optional on the Denali, included standard on the Denali Ultimate. And if you choose the Denali Ultimate, that will also switch out this headliner for one with a luxurious suede, kind of like what you get on the Escalade. All right, guys, so join me in the back seat area of this refreshed GMC Denali. Now, as far as just the rear area back here, of course, this is a pickup truck and it's in the crew cab configuration, so you're gonna have a lot of space. So let's go ahead and discuss that first. We have 43.4 inches of legroom, 40.1 inches of headroom, which is a really healthy figure that is right in line with what you get in a lot of the other full-size pickup trucks. But as you can see, that is so much space. Um, this seat is adjusted and for an average size person. As you can see, I'm five foot nine. I still have, I would say, at least a foot of space between my knees and the seat back, and my feet can easily slide up underneath of the seat. So lots and lots of space back here and lots of comfort. Now, let's talk about some of the feature set that you're gonna get with this Denali model. Now, of course, the Denali is the higher end version of the GMC Sierra. So up here in the top, you are gonna have cup holders with some silver trim around it. Then dropping down, you're gonna notice this right here. The Denali comes standard with three stage heated rear seats. That is, of course, a really nice t feature to have. If we drop further below that, you'll have a regular charging USB as well as a USB type C. And every GMC Sierra is going to have rear vents integrated into this middle area. Now, dropping down the central armrest, you will notice that we do have a really quite wide one. We have cup holders inside as well as a little storage cubby right there. I do want to point out though that seat ventilation is not available even on this refreshed model and as far as like rear window sunshades you're not going to get those. Now turn to the door trim. We are going to have some really nice materials. We have some leather on the top. We even have that nice wood trim as well as a leather armrest. This is the Denali after all plus metal speaker grills and a lot of storage space. And this is a pickup truck after all so let's go ahead and talk about that storage area that you're gonna be able to find in this rear area. Now, of course, that's useful for a day like today where it's raining outside, you need to store some stuff inside the cabin. So GMC has made this very usable. So you just lift up on the seat bottom, that will reveal storage space throughout the entire floor of the vehicle. As you can see, you can also put it um, even beside what they've kind of boxed in here. And then if we drop the seat bottom down, we're not done yet because they have integrated in these really cool uh, back of the seats storage spot so i don't really know what you could put back there it's a pretty small space however i mean if you have something very valuable i don't think anyone's ever going to look in the back of a seat back now your passenger seat is going to be 12 way power adjusting for this denali model that is of course quite nice and we do still have the four-way lumbar support now as far as other things to mention we pop open the glove box you will notice we have a decent sized one this is not like a massive glove box by any means um, but i believe you'll have plenty of other storage options in this sierra that is for sure and then up top above that we can pop open the wood compartment and this is going to be a really nice felt line storage spot as well so this sierra is really full of hidden storage spots i don't think anyone's ever going to look behind the wood either and then you also have this little cubby right here by my left knee 
Now up top, we do have a very large sun visor. We have some gently fading in LED illumination, a mirror, and we can also detach it as well as extend it out. Well, hey guys, we do have a little bit of unfortunate news. As has been the case with a few vehicles that we've done recently, this vehicle is already sold. Um, so that does mean that we will not be able to take this refreshed Sierra Denali out on the road out of respect for that new owner. And of course, we're very appreciative that they have let us come out and do this video here so we can get you guys as early a content as we can of this new refreshed interior, the outside, everything besides that test drive portion. Exactly. So of course, you and, know, that's... And not to talk over Mason, right. but we do hope we will have a uh, Denali Ultimate on right. the channel that will go for the full drive and everything. Um, so hopefully maybe we'll have one for a whole week to test out, which would be certainly ideal. But we still want to go ahead and talk about the specifications and several other things about this vehicle before we wrap up the video. Um, first and foremost, of course, our engines. You're going to have three different choices when you're going for a Denali trim level. You got the 5.3 liter V8, the 6.2 liter V8. You also have the 3 liter turbo diesel um, available options. This being the standard Denali comes standard with the 5.3 liter and we have the optional 6.2 liter on this example. If you're wondering about specific numbers, just like with all the other models, the 6.2 liter V8 is making 420 horsepower, 460 pound-feet of torque. The 5.3 liter V8 has 355 horsepower, 383 pound-feet of torque. And then the uh, turbo diesel is 277 horsepower, 460 pound-feet of torque. And that is going to be available on the Denali Ultimate. So the Ultimate is locked into just the 6.2 V8 or the turbo diesel, your choice. And we have driven that 6.2 liter and a lot of other GM products, Escalade, you know, Yukon Denali, all of them have that engine. So if you're really itching to watch a video with that specific like powertrain combination, mm -hmm. I guess you could watch the Yukon Denali, although it's not the exact same car, it will have the same powertrain uh, configuration as this. And it's a fantastic engine. It absolutely sounds amazing. It has a lot of power, a lot of pickup. So certainly a good engine option for you. Right, we're not looking at much in terms of changes, um, on paper at least, for driving dynamics between the uh, pre-refresh model and this refresh model. One of the things I do want to point out though is you do have standard adaptive dampers when you choose the Denali or the Denali Ultimate. That of course is going to really improve your ride quality. And then in terms of your transmissions, 10-speed automatic pretty much across the board, but if you go for a trim level lower than the Denali, you have the availability of the um, 2.7 liter turbo four cylinder model and that one's going to be paired with a uh, eight speed automatic instead and um, I might as well mention as I'm talking about it, it is higher output this year so it's going to be making 310 horsepower and 430 pound feet of torque which are very impressive numbers for a four cylinder. Now as far as your fuel economy figures you might be curious about that it's not going to change much for the refresh model if any at all it's 15 20 17 miles a gallon if for the 6.2 liter with four wheel drive i believe that is the most popular configuration for the denali trim level um, now of course if you go for the 5.3 that is actually going to come in at the same rating slightly higher uh, city and um, highway numbers and the turbo diesel is going to get you your best fuel economy at 24 miles a gallon combined. So if you're looking for that maximum fuel economy, get that turbo diesel option. And you're probably also curious about the pricing information. We, of course, are going to talk about that. So for the Denali trim level, in order to slide in and get in that luxury Denali trim level, you're going to be looking at $62,000 as a starting point. Like we've been mentioning throughout this review, the Denali trim level has quite a number of options that you can add to it. Mason will tell you what's on this specific example. And then the Denali Ultimate is going to be basically fully loaded. I don't think there's any options besides maybe some paint adjustments that you can make yeah. for that model. And he'll tell you the price on that as well. Yeah, so the Denali Ultimate, if you want that fully loaded one, that's going to be 81100 as a starting point. So yes, we're in the $80,000 price point. Uh, we have been in that vehicle before. If you want to watch a de uh, kind of detailed look, we didn't drive that one either, but we did a walk around video of that at the Chicago Auto Show. 
you can go ahead and watch that. Um, it's probably in your recommended videos right now. But this one right here is the Denali Reserve. We have the $5,200 package for that. It's not the fully loaded one, um, but it does, ha of course, mix a lot of the different elements in. We also have the optional V8, um, optional paint color, and then the $1,695 destination charge brings this particular model to $73,415. But overall, just to kind of wrap things up here, uh, we have to say I'm very impressed by what they have done with this Refresh Sierra. Of course, they made some small revisions to the exterior, but the interior is like night and day yeah. different. Um, they have absolutely made a full luxury experience inside of here with these upper end models. Um, you know, and if you're wondering, can this go? head to head, toe to toe with that Ram 1500 Limited. Absolutely, you've got a ton of luxury in here that you know is gonna rival that. Maybe we'll explore that in a future comparison or something, but <laughs> <laughs> definitely can go toe to toe with the best luxury trucks out there. Well guys, thanks so much for tuning in to one of the very first in-depth reviews of this refreshed 2022 GMC Sierra Denali. If you enjoyed watching this video or found it helpful in your truck buying decisions, please hit that subscribe button down below. We would really appreciate it. And just watch some of our other content. We have other forms of content on TikTok and Instagram. So if you don't have a full 30 minutes to devote to it, go follow us on those platforms. Anyway, we'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies.